this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 12. And it reads the Holy Scriptures. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Karkadash. Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for virgin words, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely as well, too. I say shalom. And this is a quick sit down lesson that I want to bring out in Matthew 24 and 12, right? So the love of many is definitely going to wax cold in the latter days, which we are definitely seeing. And we're definitely going to continue to see that increase in the latter days of the love of many shall wax cold, you know? You know, the, the, the increasing love people used to have towards one another is going to wax worse. And it's going to wax cold in the latter days. And that's what we'll be seeing. Even though we've been so used and accustomed of seeing that through our generations and through our years, you know, in modern day times, in the current year, 2023, you know, we're so used and accustomed to that. But we're going to see that rapid, rapidly in, in increase in the latter days, you know. We're gonna see a lot of uh, lawlessness, you know, a lot of iniquity, you know. We're gonna see that increase in the latter days. And you look up that word iniq, you look up that word iniquity. It's a noun, plural, iniquities. The definition of iniquity, immoral or grossly unfair behavior, right? So we're gonna see that a lot in the latter days. Immoral or grossly unfair. You know, rude behavior, unfair behavior, grossly unfair behavior. You know, and that goes into the word iniquity, you know. And I'm reading again, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right? The love of many shall wax cold. And we're going to see that a lot in the latter days. You know, because, you know, these are the signs of the times that we're living in. You know, because we are discerning the times measuring the times diligently as well too and definitely in these times we're definitely going to see a lot of increasing of the love of many Shabbat's code you know we're definitely going to see that a lot uh, ramp up in the latter days and I'm going to bring that first John uh, 3 and 4 because the heavenly father because the heavenly father say uh, the love of many is definitely going to wax cold and lawlessness is going to ramp up in the latter days, especially over here in the Persian daughter of Babylon, because this is modern day Egypt and modern day spiritually Babylon. And this is First John 3 and 4 through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads Whosoever commits sin transgress also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, right? Because sin is going to ramp it up, violence is going to ramp it up, lawlessness is going to ramp up. The love of many shall wax cold is going to ramp up. Iniquities is going to ramp up in the latter days as well, too. So, whosoever transgress the law is also sin. His sin is transgression of the law. Right? So, sins, transgression is going to gonna be increased in the latter days, you know. And as I get back to Matthew 24 and 12, it says, Matthew 24 and 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many should wax cold, right? Because there's going to be a lot of people waxing cold towards one another in the latter days. And Luke 12, 51 says, Think not that I come and send peace on earth, but a sword, but rather division, right? We're going to see a lot of division in the latter days as well, too, of here in the Persian God of Babylon, you know, and around the world as well, too. <coughs> We're going to see that uprises, uproars in the people's world, seditions as well, too, like I previous mentioned in my previous video, you know. But this was just a quick sit down lesson that I wanted to bring up of uh, Matthew 24 and 12. So with that, hopefully this quick sit down lesson was uh, edifying as I was getting to the uh, Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity should abound, the love of many should rise cold. So with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying like I mentioned again. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Shalom to the elders of Great Millstone for preaching word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Hakim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And 
until next time, I will say Shalom.